Hi everyone, um, my name is Kavit and I'm starting a new video series where I'll be discussing questions asked by some big software companies and how can we approach them. So today's featured question was asked by Uber. So the question states something like this, that you are given a 2D matrix where each cell can either consist of a backslash, a forward slash or an empty space. So we need to write an algorithm that determines how many regions the slashes will divide a matrix into. Um, like to better understand the question, let me open up uh, my paintbrush. Uh, we can then visualize uh, how it should look. So in, in the question it says the grid is three by six and it looks something like that. So let me draw it quickly draw a three by six grid and let's see how it looks so um, it should uh, one two three four five okay and cool yeah and then slashes are something like this Okay, so he's asking us that, okay, this is the grid, the configuration of the grid, like now how many regions do we see here? Obviously, let me color it, that might be easy to view. So let me choose a different color here. Okay, so this is one area, um, this is one area, and let's say I choose this, one. this is one area, so you can see these are the three areas that the slashes are dividing into. Now, how do we approach this problem? Let me remove the colors. So before moving on, if you see each and every point, uh, oops, okay. Yeah. So if you see, if I am at a cell, which is being blocked, then it doesn't make sense like I can actually not consider any of the cells that are being blocked. So that cancels out six cells out of the matrix. Now let's say I am at cell this. So let me give the numbers as well. This is one, uh, okay. Uh, this is two, this is three. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six okay cool so if i am at cell two comma one then you can see i can't move in this direction this direction obviously i'm at the boundary this direction i can only move in one direction so let's say if i start from here i can move to this cell now from this cell i can move to this direction this direction i can't move in these two directions because these are closed but the catch here is I have already visited the cell above 3 comma 1 which is 2 comma 1 so I'll only go in this direction so let's say I'm here now I can't go all of because I can move into this direction this direction this this is because I am at the boundary so I can go here I can go in the down direction I can't go in the left direction because this cell is already visited and I have been blocked by the right and the up sound up, up cells so then here I can just stop my traversal and this and I can increase the count of my region from one from zero to one similarly now I can if I start from this cell I can't go to top left bottom but I can go to right I go here similarly for from right cell I can't go to top left because it's visited I can go to bottom as well as I can go to the right. So I'll go to the right. I come here and now I can't go to let's say top left because visited again I can go to right. Now here I can key stop saying because I have already visited the left. I can't go to the top. I can't go to the right. I can't go to the bottom. So I return back from here. I come here. Now from here I can go to down. 
now when I'm here I can't go top I can't go right I can't go down so I'll go left and then from here I can't go anywhere because the top and the right cells are already visited and this and the left and the down are blocked so I stop my travel cell so now I can increase the count from 1 to 2 similarly when I am set cell this I can do the similar process now the best the best scenario here like the way to solve would this would be obviously because I have to traverse through the whole matrix and the whole matrix size is 3 cross 6 so in generic terms let's say I had n rows and m columns sorry about my writing so the overall time complexity would be o of n cross n m okay uh, I can show some code so that it's better understood size of this thing okay maybe okay so let's take a look at the code how it would look uh i would like to take some auxiliary space here so let's say i take a 2d oops my, i take a 2d array called visited that is of size n comma n m i have a matrix the which is given as the input which is n comma m okay so now let's say i start a for loop it's understandable uh, similarly I start another for loop okay, okay now what do I check so obviously it will start from zero zero uh, okay in our case it's one so let me uh, make it consistent with what I have assumed from the start okay so it should be one this should be equal and now I'll be at one comma one but there is no need to traverse if my cell is already visited or if the cell is blocked by backslash or forward slash so I'll check here two things if okay so originally this matrix is all zero all cells of the visited matrix is zero so I'll be checking if my visited i j is not I'll put a negation sign so I think it's okay. Um, okay. So if it's not visited and actually and I'll put another condition as the matrix i comma j is not equal to slash or matrix i comma j is not equal to backslash correct now inside this 
loop when I come out of this if condition if I am inside this if condition that means my traversal has started and once uh, okay this much is, is okay now I will make a another call to the method which would be like a cal method let's say I pass in two things oh uh, sorry four things in comma and once this traversal is ended this is just for the traversal thing uh, I'll show you what this method would do and then I'll be keeping a global count as region initially it's equal to zero because once the traversal ends as I said let's say I'm at cell 2 comma 1 the traversal ends from 2 comma 1 I go to uh, 3 comma 2 sorry 3 comma 1 and then I go to 3 comma 2 now here the traversal ends so obviously this function gets returned back so I'll increment the count of region by plus plus now this calc function what it would do is let's say it's a void calc okay N and M. I'm just writing the pseudo code because you guys understand the logic. Here I'll check if out of bounds because if it's out of bounds, then return. Now I call this function in all the four direction because when you are at a cell, let's say I'm at a cell here, which is i comma j i can go up which is i comma j oh sorry which is i minus one comma j i can go to the right which is i comma j plus one i can go to the left which is i comma j minus one and i can go down which is i plus one comma j so yeah, I'll call the calc function in four directions, which is calc i minus one comma j comma n comma m, and then calc. So you get the point. I call it in four directions, and once and once this four directions before before this four direction, I also mark the current cell visited i comma j as one, and then I call this functions that's it so this is the pseudo code here um, I'll be posting um, the code as well as a more detailed article about the problem that we discussed here um, in the description below uh, so yeah that's all for today uh, stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel for more interview questions and look and for the solutions to the problems uh, uh, for, for the questions yeah thank you